The blue vein traps are quite simple. There are only five parts. You have the tub at the bottom, have this funnel that screws into the tub, and then the veins. So to put it together, you just take these two parts, slide them like that, and then they're the same on both sides. And these clip into these little slots in the funnel. Now these just clip in, they have like a little notch on them, so they, they clip in. They're not the most sturdy things, but they seem to hold in place. But you do want to make sure that all four of these have clipped in. Like that, that's all good. And then that screws into the base. Now these have these two little hooks, so what I've been doing is I take a little bit of twine and put it through both holes here and then just you know tie a square knot left over right right over left I always try to remember that though I'm sure any knot will probably do fine now you've got just the with this knot here you've got a hook big enough to put on the shepherd's hook. So we have these shepherd's hook that easily press in the ground and just slide it on like that. And then all you gotta do is press this hook into the ground. And then the final thing is to give it some soapy water. You only need about an inch or so of water in the bowl and you're good to go. My blue vein trap has been out for about 24 hours and now it's time to collect it. Now, the first and perhaps most important thing is to write a proper label. I wrote this on a piece of paper in pencil. It includes the date I picked it up, the county, the state, and the name of the location, something ideally that you could find on the map, city, town, name of, par of the park, something like that. And then latitude, long longitude, latitude, for Pennsylvania is going to be 40 something. Um, and so 40.707356 in this case, ideally you want to include about six decimal places. That gets you to about an accuracy of about one meter. <clears throat> and then the longitude is negative 77 something something. Uh, I just use my phone to get that lat long. You can use Google Maps to find it. Or I also just got an app called Get GPS Data and it'll just show you the GPS coordinates for your exact location. Uh, if you don't have a smartphone with you, um, write down the location name and then look up the lat long on Google Maps. Later you can click on the point and then it'll tell you the GPS coordinates. Um, and then I wrote the collection method, which was a blue vein trap, and then my name. So that'll go in my jar where my specimens will go. Just uh, put the sample in the jar. And now I got my trap uh, with some bugs in it. So what we need to do is filter out the water and I have this brine shrimp net. It's maybe a little small but I, th I think it'll work just fine. So you just pour everything through there. Got some beetles, a few bees in there. Now sometimes some stuff will stick in the jar although it looks like everything came out in this case. Um, but I did bring with me a plastic spoon, which can be helpful to scrape anything out, but it can also be helpful to just get things out of your sieve into your jar. I'm just gonna dump that in. Sometimes some stuff, There's if anything sticks to the sieve here, or the net, you just scrape it out with a spoon and get it in your jar. Once you've done that, you want to cover up your specimens with 70% uh, alcohol. Uh, and then you only need just enough to cover them up and you know, make sure nothing is stuck to the side of the jar so they're in the alcohol. Then you're good to go.